All right. Well, good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a very happy Monday morning. Actually, a happy December. We're already in December, if you can believe that. Next thing you know it, we're going to be uh, celebrating Christmas and New Year's real soon. So with that, I urge all the agents to seize any opportunity you have to market yourself, to plant the seeds for January and February of 2024, Q, mm -hmm. Q1 of 2024. So uh, with all the events and uh, functions uh, that are going to be coming up, uh, make sure that you are marketing yourself accurately and always, okay? All right, well, today's uh, affiliate spotlight is uh, John Wax. Without further ado, I will hand it over to John. John, the floor is yours. You have to unmute yourself, John. Rewind. Um, can I share, get a share so I can bring some stuff up? Uh, I'm not sure. That's going to cost extra, but <laughs> let me let me hold on one sec. If not, it's all right. I can just no, 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 no. You're good. Let me just find you real quick and give it to you. All right, there you go. Okay. I'm I'm a host now, so I can go. Let's see. You're, you're a co-host. Yeah, go ahead and share your screen. Okay, hold on a second. I got to see how I do that. There's a big green button on the bottom if you're full screen. There you go. I got it. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let me go to... Uh, 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 uh. Let me go to... Just wanted to go to my screen, my laptop. Hold on a second. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. That's all right. I'll just talk. Okay, just John. Talk. Because yeah, I I'm I'm not great on that kind of thing with the share and all that. So that's fine. It's all good. Anyway, I just want to say that um, thank you, and I'm 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 blessed to be a part of this great organization. Um, and uh, I love this great opportunity to be able to um, enhance your um, agents uh, with knowledge about certain things that they should know and can use to help them uh, be better in their business and to help their clients. One of the things, as I always say on everything I say, is order at time of listing, or even better yet, order the Snap and Eat reports and take them with you on the listing appointment. You'll show that you're so much more in tune with the property and helping them with their needs, knowing where the NHDs, uh, what uh, hazard zones there are, knowing what the taxes are, also knowing if you get the environmental report, what environmental hazards that may uh, plague the property. Uh, the other thing that I want to remind you is that we do have the free flood zone report. You are required to get the two flood zone renters report when you do leases. And the landlord must tell the tenant whether or not the property is in a or how the property is affected by flood zones. OK, the other thing is in seconds, you can find out if you go at the top of our, our screen, whether the property is I mean, what the uh, supplemental taxes are on any property in California. You just go up to the top, you put in the property address, the amount the property is going to sell for and the uh, month it's going to close. And depending on what time of year it closes, it gives you one to two supplemental taxes plus the full tax amount for the following year. So you have all that information at your fingertips. It's a great way to do uh, to do business. The other thing I wanted to remind you is in our reports, it says whether the pro whether there is a local vegetation ordinance on the property. And in LA County, there is. But we make it specific when you go to the AB compliance page in the report. And at the very bottom of the page, it gives you the, the uh, local vegetation ordinance number. And it also says, is there a point of sale involved? And in California, for the AB38 compliance, filling out the FHDS card form, which we include automatically in the 
properties for a high or very high fire severity zone, um, it states if the property has a local vegetation ordinance in place, by viewing that page, and it's on the AB compliance page, you're able to figure out that information and then answer the uh, questions appropriately, okay? Uh, another thing that we are involved with and with that I know we started talking about is the wildfire disclosure report. It is not mandatory. It's $140 extra and it is a roadmap to find out what the current property condition is in conjunction with wildfire. And what it does, it lays out if the property is or is not in a very high fire severity zone, is it or not the property um, in compliance with defensible space, home hardening, and wildfire risk. And then it also tells you if it's not, it gives you a list of things to do, like cut, cut 14 trees, remove a deck, replace a roof, any of number of those things. On that same report, it circles the gives you a map and circles the areas that they're talking about that needs to be um, needs to be uh, worked on. It also breaks it down to recommended and required work to be done, and then it gives you a very rough estimate of the cost to do the repairs to put the property in compliance. The thing the thing about that is, I would only get it if the property comes back and it's in a very high fire severity zone, it does not guarantee insurance, but at least you can look at the property from the eyes of an insurer to see what issues would be on that property as why they wouldn't want to issue insurance and how I could bring the property in compliance. So they look more attractive to an insurer. So those are the things that I would really like to bring out. I can do a full class, but I know that uh, other people want to speak. I'm so blessed. I wish you a wonderful Christmas and New Year's. I don't know how many more meetings we're going to have. So I'm I'm working through the holidays 24-7. I'll put my information in the chat. Thank you so much. Peter, feel better. And uh, take it away, Ruben. Thanks, John. Just to answer your question, uh, we are going to have one. Uh, we're going to have another meeting on the 11th and the 18th. Okay. We will miss the following two Mondays because they land on both holidays for Christmas and New Year's. But I'd love for everybody to join us on the 11th and the 18th. I know a lot of people will be traveling closer to the 18th, but if you're in town or able to, you know, log in through your cell phone, we will be having a meeting on the 18th and stuff, okay? Um, so, John, thanks for your presentation. Um, you and I will con uh, connect a little bit later and pencil you in for a full-on uh, training for our agents, maybe come first of the year. It's very important for this, so for them to know the uh, updates on NHD, so I appreciate that. You're very um, welcome. Thank you. So next, I am going to hand it over to this very dedicated affiliate. I cannot believe she's on our Monday meeting all the way from Hawaii on her vacation. Well, if that isn't dedication, I don't know what is. Nicole. Good morning, everyone. Thankful to be here with all of you. And yes, I am on vacation this week, but didn't want to miss out on seeing all of you. And I wish you all a wonderful holiday season. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. I know Hanukkah is coming up. So uh, we're thankful for all of you. Just want you to know that we are up and running. We're taking uh, new orders. We're able to handle all of your requests. If you heard about um, the news with FNF, our systems, we shut them down last week uh, due to uh, potential risk to our systems and to protect our clients. So we just wanted to let you know that we are up and running and uh, here to help you. If you need any assistance at all, please reach out to myself or Yvonne. I do have access to my phone. It may be a little delayed, so you can text me, email. Um, I do have an outgoing message. So if you need profile requests or farm requests, that information is in my outgoing email. Again, thank you for your support. 
appreciate all of you and wishing you a blessed holiday season. And it is a perfect time to farm and prospect. So let us know what we can do to help you obtain those lists. Reach out to your past clients, your sphere of influence, friends, family. Um, it's a wonderful time. And thank you so much for your support. Have a wonderful day. And Peter, we hope uh, you feel much better. You all take care. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you for your support and enthusiasm. Appreciate it. All right, Nicole. Aloha. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. All right. uh, Andrew, we haven't seen you in a while, so I'm going to hand it over to you. Andrew, good morning. Hi, morning, everyone. Oh, this is Andrew. Um, I want to thank Rupa and well Peter for uh, keep giving back into the meeting. I met you all for the last few months as I was very, very busy with you know, commercial Indian and now and then. But honestly, I mean, banking is very challenging and tough right now due to, you know, higher rates, higher fee everywhere else across the board. Um, however, um, we at Atlantic Bank, we're still, you know, lending, as I speak. We're still looking for a good commercial lending, commercial loans, SBA, you know, not, uh, we're still doing non qm mortgage loans. If any client that needs my assistance or, uh, or um, proposal, give me a call. I'll have my uh, contact info on the chat room. And also, I see I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Take care, guys. Thank you. All right, Andrew. Just if anybody uh, doesn't know, Andrew is with Pacific, Al Pacific Alliance Bank, right? Correct. Okay. All right. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, let's pass it on to Unita. Unita Wu, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Cobalt Banker George. Um, you need a woo from Home Warranty of America, the 13 months home warranty. Um, I do want to let everybody know this is the time to do your farming and get your name out there when you're doing a holidays and stuff. You could be able to also let the homeowners know that we offer an HWA after. That is for the homeowners that actually do not have a home warranty and they want to purchase the home warranty. We will honor them the same price with the real estate transaction by using your name and then they could be able to get a home warranty for 13 months period of time. Because I heard a lot of homeowners, I just have one last week, they told me like, hey, I just pay a water heater for $2,000 and then now they wanna purchase their home warranty so then they could be able to get that cover for the next 13 months. So this is something that you could be able to offer to your home um, homeowners as well when you're talking to them. And if you do farming, I'm happy to supply you door hangers. A lot of people right now have been asking for a lot of door hangers. Ours is orange, and then you could put your business card on the bottom of it. You could slip it, and I'm happy to do that. I do have some nail file. If you guys want some, then you could be able to provide some nail files for you. Then you could be able to maybe to put them in individual like doors, door hangers as well. Um, I'm here to assist you. If you guys need any home warranty, please reach out to me. We're still 13 months. Um, Ruben, I do want to do the class next uh, next um, next next year. I am gonna get our new brochure coming up in January. Our brochure is gonna come with additional one thousand dollars homeowner deductible. So if anybody filing a claim to your homeowner's insurance, we will be able to help them up to additional one thousand dollars. So that's gonna be awesome. Our trade call fee is still gonna be low for seventy five dollars. Okay. So thank you again and wishing you all a happy holidays and thank you so much for all your continued support. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, and happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Yunita, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, so just shoot me an email. We'll connect and get you penciled in for sometime in the first uh, first month or two of 2024. Great. Thank you, Ruben. Thank You're you. Welcome. Mark, I see you made it. <laughs> I did. I did. Right I in time. I didn't think I was invited, but good morning, everybody, and hope you guys are going to enjoy the holiday season as much as I do. It's my favorite time of year. Um, Unfortunately, it's many thefts favorite time of year. So packages that are left in your cars or at, at your um, front doors or your seller's front doors, just have that conversation if you have a listing uh, to your, your clients, your sellers, that a theft loss is like almost like having an accident on your uh, driving record. It's a no-no in the industry. Even if it's in their car, like at, they're at a shopping center, it gets attached back to their home. So if it's not thousands of dollars, you know, several thousands of dollars, it, it's it's not worth putting the claim through. Again, I, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I'm just trying to help you guys navigate through this challenging crisis that we have in California with insurance. So 
I'm here to assist you if, even if I'm not part of the transaction. Mark Wu with AMS Insurance Agency. Thank you, Mark. Also, uh, that being in mind, as Mark uh, mentioned theft during these holidays, um, it's very important to be aware of your surroundings when you're doing uh, your shopping because um, there's been a spike in people following um, shoppers that are shopping alone, especially females, and they follow you to your house. And then as soon as you get out of your car, they take all your valuables, all your uh, whatever you shop for and whatever cash you have. So just be, be uh, uh, aware of your surroundings. If you could shop with other people, that would be recommended. Uh, and also try to shop when there's daylight, not in the evenings and stuff. So we would not like for anybody to be injured or robbed. So just be aware of your surroundings. Okay. That being yes, said, we do have that's a great advice. I just want, you know, men are even getting jumped um, yeah. with, 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 um, you know, they're, they're following people home. So what I always recommend people to do is when you get out of your car, you're so busy trying to get your packages in, look at what's happening around your area you know your home so if there's people that don't belong there then just don't unload your packages because that's when they're getting held up yeah yeah uh, if you have someone at home have them come call them out you know have them come and help you with it remember when you're in numbers the odds of someone offending you is going to be a lot less than when you're by yourself so Try to shop with others. It's funner too, you know. So, um, but just keep that in mind. At least be aware of your surroundings. If there's vehicles around that you're not aware of, that look out of, out of your neighborhood, even even at the malls, they're doing it at the malls too. As soon as you get to your car, uh, it takes a split second to happen and stuff. You know, it happened to. Uh, I know firsthand because it happened to one of my family members, and and it's not fun. So. I'm um, extending that that warning to everybody. Um, you know, there's a lot of unfortunate people out there and they're taking advantage of those who are able to shop and stuff. You know, if inflation's causing, you know, a lot of uh, people to take drastic measures and stuff, you know. So just be aware of those of those incidents. OK. All right. Um, we do. Can I say something? Uh, I'm sorry about your family member, but yesterday I went to the Arcadia Mall. It happens in Arcadia Mall. It was surreal. I mean, we're not even not near close by, but we were like really freaked out about it. So um, I, I, I'm i sorry to hear about your family member, but be really careful. Thank you. Thank you. You need a. I heard something about that. Was that a smash and grab that happened at Arcadia again? Yes, yes, yes it was. Yeah, yeah, it was. Wow. It was at the Reback store. They basically smashed the, and then the person right. had a gun and everybody got kicked out from the mall. I mean, <laughs> it was crazy. I think, yeah, people were thinking that there was like an active shooter, I think, at one point, but it was just a smash and grab. It's so crazy right now. Just like Ruben said, I think now because the economy is so bad, people are so desperate, especially during the holidays. Wow. You know, and, and gang action. And it's even it's even worse for the brick and mortars nowadays because this is going to even add more to people wanting to shop online and get it delivered because of the threat of so the brick and mortars are really going to take a hit here unfortunately and stuff you know even the small pops I mean even even the the when you order online uh, they're following Amazon and UPS and they're taking those packages and stuff so if you don't grab it right away. Good luck, you know. I have a package coming today and I'm hoping to, you know, get it as soon as possible. But yeah, just be aware of all of that. You just have to be diligent these days and stuff, especially during the holidays, as you guys uh, uh, indicated, there's a lot of desperation out there and stuff. So we're giving you this so you guys can, you know, do take any measures to avoid being one of those victims, okay? Uh, I am gonna pass it on to Ann Cho. Because she just came on board. <laughs> hi, hi everyone. Um, hope everyone's doing well, and hope everyone's getting their shopping done for uh, Christmas. So, just want to let you guys know that we're available here for you. Um, again, like I said, we're getting a lot of deals that have like the subject to mortgage. So keep your ears out for uh, sell potential listings that you guys can do, giving. Um, the seller potential option to, you know, do a subject to mortgage, which is 
the first will stay on title and the buyer would just take over the payment. We don't notify the lender or anything. This is a good opportunity where buyers can keep the seller's interest rate. So if you guys have any questions about that, please uh, contact me. But you guys have a great rest of the week. And in, in other words, that's also called a wraparound, right? Almost, but we don't, yeah, but we don't contact the lender. Okay. Yeah, we, it's so, called a subject to mortgage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On another note, Anna, are, are, are you still, are we still um, offering listing agents the full marketing package? Of course we are. Yes. Yes. Okay. So if you guys, I highly encourage you guys to contact me before your listing appointment. Call me and tell me you have a listing appointment. Let me know what purchase price you guys are planning to shoot, you know, tell the uh, client to you want to sell their house for and we can create um, estimates for you for the listing appointment. But once you secure the listing, the first thing you guys should do is call me and then I'll work with you guys in regards to marketing, you know, photos, video. We'll even right now, and we'll even do a press release for you guys, which goes on the internet. And we just added, we'll do a one minute social media reel on your listing for you. We'll edit it, do everything for you. And this is all professionally done, right? Yep. Yep. I, I actually would urge if you think you're going on a listing presentation, contact Anne because she can probably give you some insight on how you can potentially win that listing over your competition with, uh, um, offering the seller the professional services that you will be able to do, you know, pairing up with, with Anne. Okay. So if you're uh, looking to list a property or go on a, pr a presentation, please contact Anne. She's got a valuable, uh, if you had to put a price tag on that, Anne, what would it be like 600 bucks? Well, well, it depends on the price point, but we did one for one of your agents that had a $4 million one and it cost over a thousand dollars. There you go. But yeah, but we're willing to do it. And I think Ruben's right too. Um, you contact me ahead of time. I can actually send you some links where it shows professional photos, 3D Matterport, uh, the press release, and you can go to your listing appointment and show those samples to your client and tell them, look, this is the marketing stuff that I'm planning to do for your house to get it more exposure. Mm -hmm. And would you happen to have a sample of of another property that they can show I, that like this is kind of what we'll do but for your property and and yeah i do perfect. i do yeah i have a whole be... list with the 3d matterport the photos the videos the uh floor plan the press release so essentially i can send them a whole sample of a bunch of leads yep that's great that could be the factor of you winning that listing you know so go prepared, go fully mm -hmm. prepared and utilize the services. It's a zero out of pocket for you. Anne and her team are taking that risk. All you have to do is utilize her services once it goes into mm -hmm. escrow. But, you know, you look like a superstar in front of your your uh, seller and uh, you get these professional services for free to you. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Ruben, uh, excuse me, where is Anne's <laughs> office at? Is it downstairs? there? Oh, it's and downstairs. So, so it, for all of those agents that have not had the uh, pos the uh, opportunity to meet Anne, I encourage you to do so. She's downstairs as you walk in on the uh, uh, main floor to your right, uh, where the conference room used to be. Okay, now that conference room is part of the escrow office. But just go knock on her door, see if she's there. If she's there, say hi, exchange communication, you know, contact information. And then next time you have a listing, contact her first before you go. So you get, so you go fully prepared. So you can go with your NHD report. You can go with your prelim. You can go with a, a, a marketing package that you're going to show the seller. I mean, at, with all of those tools, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to win that listing. Okay. All right. So we have a new affiliate today. Uh, he if you did not show up uh, for our training on this past Friday, he came and shared a little bit of insight on our industry, the, the uh, homeowners insurance in industry. So he's another addition to our affiliate, uh, Mark, which, uh, you know, has been helping all our agents for some time. But here's another source. So without further ado, I uh, want to introduce Keaton with, I think it's Greyhawk, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's correct. With, with Greyhawk. Thank you for the introduction, Ruben. I appreciate it. 
Um, but yeah, we over here at Greyhawk, we do a lot of commercial insurance. It's more of our bread market right now is in a, in a big crisis. So, you know, we were taking this as, as an opportunity to kind of um, put our foot in this door. So we have programs specifically for a lot of homes in the higher brush areas. You know, a lot of carriers have different ratings and uh, basis they use to dictate what house is or what home is in a, a high brush area. And like, you know, a lot of times it's unfair as far as prices and even rates go. So we have a lot of programs for um, houses under three million, different programs for houses within the three to four and a half million and then houses above that. Um, so, yeah. And then for the, the homes with the rebuild cost, four and a half million or greater for the first time ever, um, policies are now transferable from uh, seller to buyer. So um, it's easier to show proof on the buying side to, to mortgage lenders to, you know, show proof that they have insurance to, that'll help close escrow. So um, yeah, let me know, give me a call. I'll put my number in the chat if you have any more questions, but I appreciate you guys having me. All right. Thank you, Keaton. Do put your, all your contact information in there. That's Greyhawk insurance. Okay. So that's another um, affiliate and asset you can use for all your buyers that need um, insurance. Uh, uh, Keaton, are you're, you're nationwide, right? Correct, 48 states. Um, we don't do Alaska or Hawaii. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Keaton. I believe that is the last of our affiliates. Yes, that's it. Okay, so let's move on to uh, the rest of our meeting. A couple of updates uh, and events. Birthday shout outs, Kevin Wong. Happy birthday to you. I hope you enjoy your, your birthday week. Um, we have a new agent with us. She's actually on board with us. Mandy, uh, congratulations. Welcome aboard, CPGR team. Okay. Uh, and then uh, some class reminders for this week. Uh, we have a Friday training on uh, at 10 a.m. And we will be going over AIR forms, commercial forms. Okay, um, not sure which forms, but if you are wanting to learn a little bit more about the AIR forms, please attend our Friday training this Friday at 10 a.m. Okay, uh, just a couple of re reminders of some events. They're still doing the caravans, um, Arcadia and Pasadena Foothills. Uh, that's on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. It is dwindling down a little bit as we get closer to the holidays but they're still out and about. So if you have time on any one of those days, go check out one or two properties, okay? Uh, Doug and I send those out. Uh, we try to do it the night before, but sometimes we get it really late from the association. They wait to get all their um, uh, open houses and new listings, and then they, they put it together. So sometimes we send it out in the mornings, but we do a fairly good job of sending that out to all our agents. Um, also, uh, how holiday campaigning, this is a time to plant your seeds for two, for Q1, uh, of 2024 and Q2 of 2024. So do it, be strong in the beginning of the year and start campaigning. If you can't afford and you don't have a budget for magazines, postcards, or greeting cards, um, email and text, but you need to start your campaigning right now to create the, the, marketing material and stuff don't wait till the last minute it's going to overwhelm you you got the holidays coming gift you have to buy gifts and all that so start planning it today your campaign okay um there's many platforms my my favorites are uh canva which have a free version and also a paid version both of them are great but it's easy to make your marketing material and then set it up for uh, email or text. They have postcards. They have everything. So that's a good platform. Reminder Media is a phenomenal platform if you have a small budget to send out magazines that are branded with you. Okay. And then Wise Pelican is another source, another platform for your mar branded marketing, which has no limit. So if you want to only send 10 postcards, you can do so. It's, a real, it's about a dollar a postcard, but that includes your postage and your mailing and your design. So it's it's a very good uh, platform. Then another reminder, um, you have been seeing an email from us and we'll be getting more reminders for our 
to the 2023 Christmas luncheon and buffet. It's going to be held at the same uh, location as last year. Um, Peter, do you remember the name of it? I think it's Shiki. Yeah, it's Shiki uh, at Buffet City. Okay, no. it's going to be at Shiki. Um, and it's going to be from 12 to 3 on December 15th. That's Friday, December 15th. Okay. Michelle does need an RSVP. So please, as soon as we're done with this uh, meeting, just take a quick minute and email Michelle, letting her know if you're going to go or if you're not going to go. Okay. That's going to help us with coordinating um, enough uh, room for all to accommodate all our agents. Okay. So once again, that's December, Friday, December 15th from 12 to 3 at Shiki Buff Seafood Buffet in Temple City, okay? Um, I am going to go over a couple other things. Unfortunately, Peter is feeling under the weather today, so we are not going to have an update. But I'm going to hand it over to Doug. But after Doug, I am going to go over uh, some awards criteria that need to we need to go over to make sure that every agent checks their GCI and reports back to me. We're doing our own reporting, but just to make sure that you are on top of um, your numbers. And if you're eligible for an award, we wanna make sure you get that award, okay? And then a couple other things we're gonna go over. But with that, before that, I'm gonna hand it over to Doug, our manager in Alhambra, in Arcadia, so he can go over uh, new business over there. Yeah, so don't move me to Alhambra. I'm happy over here, okay? <laughs> you, you know, talking about those follow home uh, robberies and stuff, I mean, for like me, I mean, I, I know people like to go to the mall and touch things, but the mall's across the street. I haven't been there in years. I, I shop online. I have it delivered to the office. It always gets here. Nobody steals it. Um, so it's just an idea. If you have a place of business you can send it to, if nobody's at home, send it there and, and pick it up there. Um, anyway, we have a, a, a few listings. Not too much is going on this last week for some reason, uh, a lot of leases, but Nick does have a property on Colorado Boulevard in Pasadena. It's an office depot building. It's got a 10-year lease left on it. The price is $15 million. It's on Colorado Boulevard in Pasadena. Uh, also, Shirley Guerrero had four leases, but two of them have been leased out already. So uh, if you got a, a tenant looking for El Monte, call Shirley Guerrero in my office. Also, Wendy Lee uh, has a lease in um, Rosedale up in Azusa, four bedroom, three bath, 3680. And the last listing is Arthur He on Wall Street in Los Angeles, a three bedroom and a, and a two bedroom, uh, two units for $560,000, very affordable. Uh, a couple of our recent sales, uh, Suki Husky in Valencia, 765850. Uh, Nick and Steve Sadler leased uh, commercial property in Arcadia on Duarte Road. Uh, Gary Lee le listed, um, leased out his listing, 3,400 in West Cabina, and Shirley, two of them in uh, El Monte in Arcadia. So congratulations to all of them. Uh, one thing I want to mention to, to the agents is uh, I rehired an agent who was with me for many years, and she left, and then she came back. Uh, and she said what she likes about our company is the family atmosphere and the people here and the support she gets. So I would ask each of you agents, if you know anybody at all that you think might be a good addition to our family, let Ruben or I know, please. Uh, and we will give them a call. All we want is a name and a phone number, and, and we'll pick it up from there, okay? We really, really would appreciate it. Uh, Ruben, I won't be here next Monday's meeting. I'll be uh, in Hawaii. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, oh uh, I'll, so I'll see you all on uh, at, at the uh, luncheon on the fifteenth. Please come and please let us know if you're going to be there. I'm trying to get a head count. Okay, thank you, thank you guys very much. All right, Doug. Thank you. Thank Happy you December. Ha have a, a nice trip too, Doug. Okay. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you will. Uh, also, if those agents uh, remember, if you uh, refer someone to our brokerage and they come from a non-affiliated uh, brokerage, basically not Century 21 or uh, Sotheby's or another Coldwell Banker, um, you're qualified to get receive a one percent 
off their the uh, recruiting uh, agents commission for life, or as long as both uh, agents are with Coldwell Banker George Realty and stuff. So there's a good incentive there and uh, ability to make a little bit extra uh, extra GCI. Okay, it's called the agent Re uh, uh, referral rewards program. Um, okay, some new business for Alhambra. Uh, Richard Wang has a new escrow a, a condo in Pasadena for eight hundred and thirty five thousand. Shumakam has commercial uh, new escrow for commercial property in Monterey Park for three point nine six zero. Very very good. Thank you. And, and Marcy has a residential escrow in Glendora for eight hundred and fifty five thousand. Congratulations to those agents. Also, new listings for the uh, Alhambra office. Cecilia Huen has a business opportunity in Placentia for fifty-eight thousand. Uh, Shumei Cam has a commercial. That's the uh, so she's also the listing agent. She's double lending the the property in Monterey Park for three point nine six zero. Great job, Shumei. And then Stephen Tran has a residential listing in Monterey Park for one point four nine eight just shy of 1.5. So congratulations to those agents. Well done. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen really quick. Uh, let me just see which one is it. There we go. All right. I wanted to go over this. Uh, we are at the point in the year that we're going to start getting all the reports ready for the awards criteria for our agents. I want to make sure every agent is aware of the criteria that they have to meet to get these awards, okay? These are for the total combined GCI. So this is combined GCI. This is a total of what you've, got, you've gotten paid in uh, 2023. I blacked out 2022 because I don't have the paperwork for 2023. But the criteria is exactly the same. It did not change. Okay. So for a total combined GCI, this is residential and um, um, commercial. Uh, if you feel that you've earned or you know you've earned 125,000 GCI and above, you qualify for the Sterling so uh, Society. Okay. The next one up is 175,000 and you qualify for the Diamond Society. Following that, if you reached 250,000 GCI, combined GCI, that's the president's circle. Above that, the next tier is a 400,000 GCI. You're at the president's elite. Above that, 650,000 GCI, total GCI, you would be at the president's premier. And then anything with a million GCI and above is a society of excellence, okay? So this is the criteria for your total GCI. If you feel that you fall within one of these categories, um, please email me and then I'll look into it. We're doing our own reporting, but we are human. Um, as accurate as I, we try to be, we might be wrong. So I urge every agent to do their own due diligence and make sure that they uh, know where their GCI is and where they fall in perhaps maybe they fall into one of these categories. I'd hate for an agent not to get an award that they uh, deserve, okay? Now, commercial is, so there's two awards, commercial and total GCI, okay? It used to be residential and commercial. Uh, I think two year, two or three years prior to this year, they changed it. So there's, you can qualify for two different awards if you've done commercial and then also total GCI. So for commercial, this is what it looks like. Peter, can you see this okay? Yeah, yeah, I can okay. see it. So yeah, this is good. just commercial GCI, okay? The one I showed you previously was total. So if you feel that you've reached 200, between 200 and 349,999, just call it 350,000, you're entitled to, a, to a, the circle of distinction bronze level. If you've reached above that and below 500, you'd be at the seven, uh, a silver level. And then the one above that goes up to uh, five, between 500 and 700,000. And then the 
highest level you can reach in a, for a single agent is the platinum level. And that's if you've reached 700,000 GCI in commercial uh, commissions, you would receive the 700,000. Reason why we're showing this is because we want to make sure that our agents know where they fall in. And if they're, um, uh, if they are, uh, if their GCI criteria for an award, we want to make sure that they get it. Okay. So let me just stop sharing that. I want to share one last thing before we end our meeting. Uh, let's see. Um, move this. Can you guys see my CB desk? Yes. Okay. So for newer agents, seasoned agents, I'm not sure how many agents actually go on to their CB desk. I, I, I log on on a daily basis. Um, but I wanted to remind agents of their CB desk and the powerful tools that they have on their desk. Um, the first one I wanted to go over is CBU, which is Coldwell Banker Universities. Whether you're, you're new to business uh, or seasoned, this is a very, very good tool. Um, they call it, These are called tiles, okay? And you can move them around or you could delete them or add more, more tiles. But this Coldwell Banker University is a very good tool um, because you have the capabilities of signing up and registering for numerous types of classes and training. Um, and it's not just classes and training on the tiles that we see that you see in front of us right now, but other stuff that can help develop your business, uh, business planning, um, mindset. And here I'll go into it a little bit. I have it open. So when you click on this tile, what will open up is something like this, okay? And you have the capabilities of learning. Uh, and, and again, these tutorials are, are self-paced, most of them. If you don't register for one that's going to be live, um, you could always come back to them and learn at your own pace. As you can tell, this is an annual income goal projector, uh, delivering the promise of fair housing, uh, course catalog. There's a, an abundance of tools that you can click on and register. And then if you click on menu, let's go to home real quick. It locked me out for some reason. Uh, it also has, if you click on menu, here's where you have your learning library and the course catalog. You obviously have Moxie Works too. When you click on the learning library, you have all this abundance of, here's a boot camp, there's AMP, all the Moxie um, uh, uh, classes that you can take, design concierge, listing concierge. So there's an abundance of classes that you can be taught uh, at your own pace. So I wanted to make sure everybody knew about that. Let me go back to it. That's Coldwell Banker University. Now we've had classes on demographics and build out. Those are two commercial tiles that I wanted to touch base on. Uh, but in addition to that, I wanted to show if you're a commercial agent or want, are going to start engaging in commercial real estate, this art real estate, it's called RE back office. Uh, I'm not sure if any anyone is familiar with this, but it's a very good tool for your marketing of your of your listings for commercial. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Oh, log me out. Give me one second real quick. Why is it logging me out? Okay, so when you log into uh, this tile, RE back office, it, this is what will open up, okay? So you have capabilities of uh, floor plans. Let's go ahead and click on floor plans. You have a, a two-dimensional two floor plan, an enhanced, uh, enhanced two-dimensional floor plan, even a 3D floor plan. So if you click on that, that's what it'll look like for your listing, okay? Let me move this guy real quick. Let's click out of that. We'll go back. You also have site plans. Let's click on site plans. So you have the 2D, the large detail 2D, 
uh, community retail 2D, community retail 2D, uh, a different format. And then you also have a 3D site plan. Very nice, nicely put together. Stacking plans, you also have the stacking plans. Uh, and you have this interactive stacking plan as well, where if you click on it, you can click on the actual suite and it'll give you the actual site, the, the plan for that, that uh, floor or that suite. Let's go back to, that's the stacking plan. You have aerials, okay? I've had numerous agents ask me for, how do you get these aerials? Uh, you can, there's other platforms you can utilize, but I just, I'm just trying to show you the, cap the capabilities of what you have uh, with CB Desk. Um, so you have small uh, two-dimensional aerials, uh, another type of it, uh, and then you have the large detailed ones, and then you have this, these type of, of uh, aerials that can enhance your OMs, your offering memorandums, okay? Speaking of memorandums, you have map. okay, let me just move forward. You have maps here, you have renderings. So a rendering will show you what a property could look like um, so it can kind of take out imagery, take out trees, uh, leave it standalone, maybe even put a building in a, a vacant location. And then also there's virtual staging. So there's a lot of capabilities you have with this platform. Um, in addition to that, you have postcards, you have flyers, and this is in your CB desk. So when you ask for something, it's always going to be branded to you as a cold old banker commercial agent. Okay, remember, this is commercial only. Uh, aside from that, here's your OMs, brochures. Okay, so uh, this is the offering memorandum, which is kind of like a CMA or a listing presentation for a commercial property. Okay, so if you need an OM and don't have a source, this is a good place to get it. Okay, then there's property advertisement, uh, emails, logos. If you want to create a logo for a building or something, uh, there's so there's a lot of capabilities here. Uh, there's a, a property website here, PowerPoint presentation. Uh, there's signage, social media content. Then uh, I, I went over this a little bit, photo editing. So if you want to edit like to make your listing look a little bit more presentable, you know, they took out the car here, so it's all vacant. Uh, they took these trees out here. Let me click on it. They took the trees out on the left and the right looks a lot cleaner. So it's all about presentation. You know, over here, there's your before, there's your after. So it's you're making it more appealing to your clients or potential clients that want to <laughs> buy it. So again, this is all on your CB desk which is RE back office. It's commercial tile. It's not for residential, uh, but I wanted to share that to you in the event that you are thinking of uh, engaging in commercial or you are engaging in commercial and you don't have the resources to create these beautiful marketing, plat uh, uh, marketing flyers and OMs and such. This could be the determining factor of you getting the commercial listing, okay? So, um, if you have time, explore CB Desk, utilize CB Desk, and um, see what these tiles can do for your business, okay? And I think that's it. Let me stop sharing really quick. Anybody have any questions regarding that? All right, well, like I said, Peter, is feeling under the weather today. I hope he feels better. Um, but uh, we do not have an update for you this week. So I wish you guys, Peter, you have anything to say? Mm, no, I, you did a very good job. Uh, you're filling the, the gap. I'm sorry that I, I couldn't uh, talk today because uh, I still have the laryngitis and with intermittent um, uh, coughing. So I'm not in a position to talk too much. So, But I will be back to, uh, next week and I can guarantee you. All right. Um, All right. You. Well, Hope you feel better, Peter. Thank you, Jeffrey. Have a great week, everyone. Reach out. I'm here for you. Thank you.
All right, guys. Thank you, Peter. Yeah. Everyone, thank you, guys. Enjoy thank your you week. Be safe. Bye, Be safe and stay stay warm, okay? Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Everybody, Bye. have a nice week. Thank you, Ruben. Get right. well, Peter. Get well, fun.